Ahoy hoy, deuterinos. Oh my god, I'm such a nerd. <laughs> um, what's up, guys? Today, uh, we are going to be headed down to uh, the Humane Society in Newington. I'm a huge lover of animals, like huge, 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 huge. And this is actually where we rescued um, my dog growing up, Honeybee. Um, of course, we had her when I was four, so her name would be Honeybee. <laughs> Oh my god, the cutest dog ever. I wish I had pictures to show you guys. Cocker Spaniel, so freaking adorable. Like, love of my life. Um, great dog. But yeah, but we rescued her from the Humane Society, and I think rescuing is super, super, super important. Um, there are all these animals in shelters and, you know, across the country that need homes. So please don't go to a pet shop or don't make it your first choice. Check out some of these dogs first. Let's have a look. Right now. that one. Oh my goodness. For, for letting me come here. These dogs are just, oh my god, they're so cute. Um, so now, what's the average time that like Bouncer or Dolce would stay here? Oh, my pleasure. Uh, we always welcome members of the media to come and help us educate the community a little bit more about what we have to offer. Um, the average length of stay for most pets at the Connecticut Humane Society is 21 days or less. That will change, of course, if you have young puppies or young kittens. They tend to get adopted much more quickly. And older pets or pets that have some sort of a manageable health condition or a manageable behavioral situation where they require special placement, they're going to take a little bit longer. But our staff does an amazing job getting these pets into new homes as quickly as possible. That's awesome. And now what's like, if someone wanted to adopt any of these pets, what are sort of the, what are sort of the ways that they go about it? Like what's the process like? It's a great question. We ask people to do their due diligence and do some research ahead of time to determine what in fact is the best pet for their home and for their family. And then once they've done that, a great place to start is by visiting our website, www.cthumane.org. Take a look at the pets that you see. And if somebody does meet your needs, come to the shelter and meet the pet face to face. And while you're here, we're going to ask you to go through an adoption interview and fill out some paperwork so we can learn a little bit more about you and you can learn a little bit more about us and what the pet that you're interested in is going to require. Great opportunity to ask questions, voice concerns, get some education. And if everything um, looks like a good fit after that process, then you will be able to officially adopt the pet. We do ask a fee for the adoption service and that fee depends on the age of the pet and the species of the pet. Along with that fee, you are going to get vaccinations, spay neuter, microchipping, and a lot of other services. And then you get to take the pet home. Aww. Thank you again so much. This has been such a wonderful experience. You're oh, so cute. My pleasure. <laughs> Thank you.